Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Corpse Party. In the last episode, I'm pretty sure we helped Ayumi with her possession issues. And also, we found out a little bit more about Kishinuma. So, you know. And now, I guess we're gonna head back to the classroom. And also, that ghost is probably still gonna be there because, you know... I hate chasers, and this game knows I hate chasers. Oh. I know where I'm not going. Or at least, not before I save. Eh, yeah, this will do. So, uh... Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard when wafting, and wafting out from the infirmary. Really? What? M my you? That's right. It's the same for me. I love my and I love my school. <laughs> my you? Suzumoto, get away! You need to run quickly. And my homeroom teacher is the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Suzumoto! Hey! Snap out of it! Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Shinazaki? Kishinoma? Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these children, these really aren't bad kids. These, ah, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? We've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, four children abducted, follow-up report. Oh dear. The brutal shocking deaths of the recent of the recent ah, of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers has now been traced back to the hands of an instructor found in the in the room with them. The scissors and the scissors he's held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading and ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding and ch or choking. One of the victims even had a majority of her head slowly and metho methodically, methodically, I can never pronounce that right, removed. This and this and this cranial mess with mass was found on the floor next to her body. The heavenly host elementary students pictured here are the war the four who were found in the basement room. One of these and of these children, one was when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blood. Mm. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Eh. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us earlier on the first floor and on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. You're gonna die. Probably. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Whoa, what? Don't do that. Don't do that. Shinazaki! Damn it, what the hell did they do? Come up, play! I, oh. So I can't do anything. Great. Alright, so I guess I just... Mm, I guess I just have to... I don't know. Leave Mayu to die? I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. 
You can't even touch her, much less get her, much less, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that. Jeez, and you're so blunt about it, too. Honk? Oh. Uh, would you prefer it if I just didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello? What? Hello? Sh she's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at this school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought out here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist, Naho Se Senoki? I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for, commu for communing with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sinoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never thought it would, and I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that the closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped, with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in the newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain, to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. And all this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any and what they lack is any remorse or regret from one from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying The murderer is here in the school, yes. 
Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where will we even begin? You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two, sh those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Oh, there she goes. Hey, Shinazaki, wait up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you. On, I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all. So thanks. Hey, hey, girl. You okay? Hey, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinazaki. She needs to get out of this school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? I guess I should probably go back up and save. Because there's probably going to be another long session of running away from the spooky ghost. Alrighty. So are we still going back to the classroom that we started in, or... Either way, the spooky ghost is gonna be here. Yep, there he is. Goodbye, spooky ghost. I haven't the time to play your games. But um. And then save again. Started. There's doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh shit. Anything in here then? head of an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. Pick it up. I'm probably going to regret this, but sure, why not? Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate with its soul desire. What the? I hear a voice! Return my body? Alright, I guess I can do that. I mean, is there anything for we can do here now? Nope. Great. Alrighty. So I guess we just have to freaking play fearful avoidance games with the ghost. Which, to be honest, I really don't want to do. But we must, so let's just get it over with. Plus, it's so damn eerily quiet. Doesn't exactly make playing this at night any better, but, you know. Spooky atmosphere because it's Halloween, I guess. Uh, should we save? Well, I mean, I guess we probably should. Alright, where is he?
Yep, there he is. There's our Mr. Spooky Ghost. What you gonna do? You can't do anything. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. He's gonna be right there when I'm back out, isn't he? No, actually. Okay. Alright, show up already so we can... Oh. Okay, come on. Come on. I love you. I love you. Follow me. I love you. Alrighty. Come on. Come all the way down here and... Bye! Goodbye. And now you're stuck in a hole in the wall because you're dumb. And nobody likes you. Well, that, that's kind of mean. He did kind of die a horrible, violent death. But, you know. You, you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Oh. Oh, here's a thing. Pick it up. Fuck sure. Thoughts begin to echo in your head, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its soul and desire. What the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head? Sure, I can do that. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, methodical, and almost robotic monotone. To have killed children so brutally, I was not in my right mind. I did not want them to die. I was scared, too. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. I am actually a good person. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around, saying what we want to hear. Yeah, it does kinda seem like that. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? I mean, maybe? I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. But the children's might. That ghost kid is gonna be like right there when we go back down, isn't he? He's not here. Alright. Back to the infirmary we go, then. Goodbye, spooky ghost boy. Let's go ahead and save, just in case shit goes south. Suzumoto! Suzumoto! Open your eyes, please! Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that, that supposed to accomplish, huh? Well, that's not good. Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out! Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the pentient spirit sealed within. Ma, eh? Mommy! <laughs> oh.
You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. Those horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. Oh no. Oh no. No! Stop! Please don't. What? 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 I aimed through the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Are you sure you wanna... Is she... No. The body we found of Seiko and Naomi was Mayu's. Oh. Okay. This isn't. It couldn't be. This is. Okay. The way to cut us off, Ayumi. Shinazaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore! It, girl, where are you going? Shinazaki! I'm... I'm really starting to lose it. I... who? What? Shina... Fuck. Sloop. Great. Great. That's great. Please don't tell me we got the bad end. Please? I... What? What? The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Ow! Oh, sh she's alive, though! Sh y you is alive! So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am! But you're just their instructor, yes? And no? You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children! I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Never underestimate a teacher. Now answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two that I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous cor Oh wait, it's corporeal. I thought it was corporal. Corporeal entities joined us in these closed spaces all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. My right arm is definitely broken. And all this blood. All those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. 
Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred, one victim drawn to harm another. It's not just the people in this place, but their sadness and torment as well. It got nowhere and it's got nowhere to go, and so it just hangs in these walls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Well, Kishinuma's probably dead, but hey, we got to the end of chapter two, and Yui's alive, so that's that's good, I guess. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Corpse Party, where we, where we will begin chapter three. I will see you guys then, and take care.